Dan, I want to get your take on this $3 billion that Facebook has set aside for this FTC investigation. What do you make of that? And I mean, this led to a significant reduction in earnings. Well, Selena, it was a huge surprise. When that number came across the tape, I was like, whoa, where'd that come from? I didn't even know that the Federal Trade Commission was in a process of investigating them and they felt that they had to put some money aside for a future charge off. But, you know, we worked through those numbers. It was actually a pretty good number, right? If we add in back into that charge, we get to about $1.89 per share. And the estimate was about $1.63, $1.64. So year over year, earnings actually increased 15% when the street had earnings actually being flat in the first quarter. So I was really encouraged by uh, the number once I netted out that, that, that charge off. Now, during the conference call, Zuckerberg also reiterated this newfound focus on privacy and encrypted communications. How do you see that impacting the financials in the long term, as well as its value to advertisers? Well, Selena, that's a huge component of the Facebook story right now. You know, we net out that uh, charge off. We come up with operating margin of about 42 percent. That's a, a bit of a drop off from what we saw a year ago. So the big question is, as they continue to spend money to increase their security, Obviously, that dilutes the growth that you have on the bottom line. As you mentioned earlier, there was a 26% jump in revenues and advertising, yet we only saw a 15% jump in earnings per share. So you can see how those margins are being squeezed a bit because expenses are going up as it relates directly to security. And of course, if they can get that behind them, Selena, then that would put aside all these new stories that keep coming out about privacy and breaching. I think it would increase the confidence in Facebook and what obviously helped the stock tremendously. And then, of course, we also had Microsoft reporting profit and sales that topped analyst estimates largely on new cloud computing deals. Does this mean that Satya Nadella's efforts to draw customers away from Amazon is really being successful? How does this position Microsoft against rivals? Well, Sherry, it's interesting because if you talk to Microsoft, they say it's a two horse race, right? Especially in the infrastructure as a service and platform as a service market between Microsoft Azure and AWS, which is Amazon's product. Uh, Azure did very well, was up 73% over the quarter. Intelligent Cloud was up 22%. Um, but we have to bear in mind that AWS is still about three times greater in terms of market share. They're about 35, 36% over Microsoft and the rest of the competition in that space. Google with their GCP offering as a distance third, got IBM and Oracle in there. So we still have to consider Amazon uh, with AWS still the leader, uh, especially in infrastructure as a service. And then one company that disappointed investors, uh, in, at least in terms of forecast, was Netflix. We, of course, know that they have boosted their cash burn now for the year. Their estimates, this GTV chart on the Bloomberg showing how much they've already burned through capital. Now they're boosting it to three and a half billion dollars. What does it say about the company? Are investors right to worry about Netflix, especially when you have so many new entrants in the field? Well, that's right, Sherry. You know, the big issue with Netflix, as you mentioned, is the cash burn, because once they burn through that cash, they have to go out and take on more debt. And they, uh, I think at the last 2018, they had about $10 billion in debt that they had to take on to offset this cash burn. Of course, they need the cash to build out content, right, to attract subscribers. So you bring up a good point, Sherry, and that is that they've increased that forecast. It was about two and a half to three. Now they've increased it to three and a half. You've got Disney coming in with their latest Disney Plus. You've got all these other entries into the market. Apple introduced something last month. So it is a concern, no doubt about it. And of course, their cash flow number guidance looks like it moved up, which is something we have to take note of, no doubt.